Living in the modern world we're living in, with computers, emails, mobile phones, lots of us in our jobs and just our social lives as well, are living in the fast lane. I know myself with my work, working on a live TV show, and generally in my life, I'm always on the go. And I've come down to City Psychology Group today to speak to Dr. Michael Sinclair, hoping he can give me some tips on how to slow down and appreciate the moment that I'm in. So, hi Michael, I've come down today um, hoping that you can, you can give me some assistance with my very fast-paced life that I have. Because uh, working on a live TV show, I'm always busy, lots of emails, lots of guests and stuff. And, um, and it's great, but sometimes I don't know when to sort of stop um, or, you know, how to slow down. And I just didn't know if you could give me some tips to help me. Have you seen one of these before? No. <laughs> this is called a Chinese finger trap. Okay. And it's a really simple thing. And I just want to, with this, I want to just illustrate to you what I'm talking about, what this is all about. So if I could just give that to you for a sec. And all I ask you to do is stick your fingers in both ends and don't do anything else with that, that's it. And now, I just want to give you a simple instruction, which is take your fingers out. And what happens? They get stuck. You get stuck, mm -hmm. you're trapped, yeah. yeah. So, you know, what this does is highlight to us how it is that if we act habitually, without mm -hmm. any awareness, instinctively, we often get ourselves into more trouble. And now, all I encourage you to do, Barbara, is bring your attention yeah. to your feet. Just hold your feet in awareness. Okay. Just notice your feet. You may be able to notice the sensation at the soles of your feet where your feet meet the surface of the floor. Mm -hmm. If you can or you can't, it's absolutely fine. Just be open to what you can notice. The absence or the presence of sensation is fine. There they are, your feet. And then there's you noticing your feet. How was all that? That was good, yeah. Um, I think um, it's good just to stop and sort of like note it, think about your feet and your body and the air because we do just um, not think about these things which are with us the whole day, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So Barbara, tell me, have you got a mobile phone? Yeah, I do. Yeah, where's your phone right now? It's in my handbag, okay. waiting for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do, you, do you feel an urge to sort of check your phone now and again? I mean, maybe even while we've been sitting here today. Yeah, I did check it a bit you earlier did <laughs> on the quiet. <laughs> and um, I regularly check my phone. Um, everyone who knows me knows that my phone is never far away. As it is for most of us these days, isn't it? It's kind of an extension of our bodies, I think. Can I just yeah. say, well done you, congratulate yourself for staying with me in this exercise without checking your phone. It just went off, actually. There it goes again. <laughs> but can you see the impulse to check all the time? And mm -hmm. of course, if we did that, that, if you would have done that more often than you did here today, it would have taken you away from the experience that we're having. Yeah. So if we're talking about rushing from one place to another, whether we're sort of running or walking fast, many of us do these days, you know, we can bring mindfulness awareness to our walking as well. So I reckon let's go outside and let's do that now. And now what I want to do is bring that awareness as we continue to walk. So just noticing the impulse to move step by step, raising one leg after the other. Just see if you can notice the quality of each step. Be curious, are you walking softly? Are you walking hard? See if you can notice the sensation of air as you propel forward against your skin. So Barbara, how did you find that mindfulness walking exercise? Um, I found it um, interesting because I wouldn't normally do that walking. It's different from doing it inside the consultation rooms, doing it on the street. And there was, um, there was an ambulance siren going off, or a police siren, whatever, and, and I did get distracted by that because it was so loud. But then I did pull myself back into focusing on the on the walking, just to, just to be aware of the walking, so. That's brilliant, that's what mindfulness is about, is noticing where our attention is and placing it where we want it to be. So distraction isn't a sign of failure, it's inevitable, we get distracted. But when you notice you're distracted, you can just bring it back to where you want it to be. That's mindfulness. So, to round up what I've learned today. Number one, when you're living in the fast lane, your natural reaction to a problematic situation may not be the best. Instinctively, we often get ourselves into more trouble. Number two, take time out to be more aware of your body and the air around you. And relax, just be, don't always think. Number three, when you walk down the street, don't just be a robot on autopilot. Be you and be awake. It's simple, less thinking, less doing, 
and more being.